So according to my Farsight calendar, today is Sunday the 24th. Here's a film uh, that we recorded a couple of days ago. We were doing a round of splits and uh, just kind of giving you a heads up on some of the things that we're observing with how wacky the weather has been. Uh, <laughs> it's a general rule that uh, whenever beekeepers have time this time of the year to make videos, you know something's, something's up because uh, it's one of the busiest times in the beekeeping calendar. But anyway, just a little update. So just for folks wondering what beekeeping on a commercial side looks like, Tyler, where are you? Did you get rained on enough? Yeah. <laughs> got Tyler and got Bo. And, uh, and then we've got kind of let up a little bit more but it's still still pouring out there but we're splitting bees in between uh, <laughs> in between showers what we're seeing on an interesting side uh, bees really are a lot like human beings in the sense that uh, if you've got a large hive a really strong hive and then you're getting the weather like we're getting that's kind of keeping them enclosed inside when we get some milder weather here, you're really going to have to watch for swarming. I know some of the bees that we're splitting, they've got queen cups on the bottom of frames. Uh, I'll see if I can find a picture and throw it up here on the video. And always be, and always be careful of bees in your beard. But um, anyways, just keep a close watch on your strong colonies because uh, they're, they're going to want to swarm here when we get a break in the weather. Another thing that we're observing is some self-cannibalization of brood, or more, more appropriately, larva. Uh, bees will do that, uh, especially carnolians. People ask, you know, what's the difference between Italian carnolians? As a general rule, carnolians are a little more efficient. If they don't have resources, they'll cut back on brood rearing, whereas Italians kind of just keep population, large populations year-round. But what we're observing, because we run mostly carnolian, is uh, that some of the brood is being cannibalized. And what that'll look like is the brood will look spotty in areas and you'll just see that the, the queen has, it's the best way to describe it, the queen has sort of condensed her egg larva area. And so you'll have still a nice solid patch of brood uh, in one part of the hive, but where she's laid out when there was greater resources, you'll just see capped brood, no eggs, no larva. Almost looks a little bit like a failing queen, but the difference being is that they looked fine a couple of weeks ago, mite levels are fine. It's just the weather has had them trapped inside. And so for protein source, they actually start cannibalizing their larva. Uh, but anyways, that's, uh, that's it for now, a little update.